I'm Alex McCurdy from uh, the South Shore of Nova Scotia. Welcome to my studio. Um, you've asked me to make a video, five minute video, of, uh, of how I'm feeling, my techniques, and my work generally. And I think I will introduce the whole talk um, by talking about my blue box with copper wire. Um, we were in Florida when COVID-19 hit and we had to um, drive back because our flight was canceled and our health insurance was canceled. And um, I had been making pots there. I bought the, pot, the pots back with me. But when we did get finally settled and self-isolation was taking place, I remember that the kiln that we had moved in a huge downsizing venture was not connected and I couldn't get an electrician to come and connect it for me. So I had to use parts of boxes that I had made previously and anything that I had in my studio to make blue box with copper wire. Here you'll see one of the sides um, and you can see that I'm knotting fairly lightweight copper wire into the grid. Each grid has probably um, 200 holes. So that would be when you combine them all together, the four sides, 800 knots of copper wire. It took two months for me to do it. Um, it is now at Studio 21, which is why I can't actually show it to you in real life, just photographs. Um, but it is very much about COVID-19. The copper wire looks as if it's very ambiguous, but it looks as if it could be the germ, the virus getting out of the box, or it could also be the virus getting into the box. The box is represents the whole idea of isolation, of being boxed in, of being alone, um, and the whole thing that we've been feeling during the last uh, five months, five to six months. Um, a lack of artistic inspiration, um, deprivation, uh, food that we're not used to eating, delivery that we're not used to taking, the whole thing has been really quite something. So I'm hoping that this box will show you um, a small segment of how things have been going in my life the last five months. Um, the boxes themselves are constructed using porcelain slip, which is, uh, which is liquid clay. Colored. So I've got a, a little bottle of blue colored clay and a little bottle of white colored clay. And what I do is I lay the lines down on cheesecloth, which is resting on plaster slabs. And the plaster slabs absorb the moisture and the cheesecloth gives the texture and the lines give a look of warp and weft in weaving. Because all my work um, throughout my career has really been uh, influenced by textiles mainly because I did a master's degree in Cardiff, Wales, and my thesis was about women in um, craft, and I traced it back through textiles. So the work has, over the years, gathered uh, symbology and iconography of um, textiles. And I've used um, rug hooking patterns, in this case, weaving, uh, I've used um, stitch patterns, quilt patterns, and um, any kind of patterning that have been, that's been part of my life. So that really displays the, the, the mores of my work. Thank you very much for coming to my studio today. Goodbye.